Hi, it's Tough Cabbage Adventures and today we are visiting one of our favorite hidden places here in the center of Budapest. And it's all gonna be about food and some nice coffees. So come and join us on today's adventure. So right now we are next to the Margaret Bridge and from here if you're a tourist you may go to Margaret Island which is an amazing place or you want to go and visit the inner town with the parliament and the basilica but right now we will go the complete opposite direction where we have a little road known as the Ojoni Oud and it has a ton of eateries, a ton of coffees and a ton of nice little shops. So let's go because I am already hungry. Now it would be a challenge to simply go through all the places this street has in one video. So let's do this in a top 5 things to do style. At number 5, grab some snacks. The Pozhonyi street is just full of bakeries, pastry shops and many more. If you enjoy sampling a bunch of tasty, delicious items, you'll have a great time here for sure or just take them with you for a picnic, to Margaret Island for example. That's crunchy! What's really cool about this area is that despite the fact we are right in the middle of the city, there are a ton of trees right next to the road, which is quite rare if you think about it. Here in the middle of the city, it's a concrete jungle, but here, ah, there is a little bit of jungle with some real natural elements. That's nice. Number four on our list, bring your pets with you. If you're visiting town with your lovely pet, then you're gonna love this place because most of the establishments here are actually pet friendly. And even the street has its own, well, let's say toilet for the little ones. Number three, explore the many cuisines the restaurants offer. If you look for some traditional Hungarian meals or get hungry for some Asian dishes, some Spanish tapas or Italian flavors, you'll easily find a nice restaurant with some good vibes and delicious food. Here's one thing you might have noticed if you actually look up a little bit. Right at the boulevard, most of the buildings are, you know, very fancy looking, very detailed ones. But here, they aren't as detailed. And the reason for that is that this area used to be an industrial area. And after World War I, they established this new Leopold town, Williputváros. So that's why you see that these buildings are more Art Nouveau, Bauhaus, Art Deco, I have no idea about these uh, phrases, but they are more modern looking ones. The second best thing to do is to have some specialty coffee. If you are a coffee drinker, not just because the caffeine wakes you up, but you enjoy it for the taste and maybe also like cozy surroundings, then make sure to visit some of the specialty coffee places here. Here's a little bit of history for you. There is a street named after Raoul Wallenberg and there's actually a statue right at the corner of it. Plus there's another statue at the park that's also commemorating him. And the reason why he's important is that during World War II, he was a Swedish architect, diplomat working here in Budapest and he saved a lot of Jewish people. And within this district at that time, 
there were a lot of Jews living. Uh, this is not traditionally the, um, the Jewish district, that's somewhere else, but there were a lot of them uh, living here and still living today. So that's why uh, they are really commemorating uh, Raoul Wallenberg. And number one, have a nice brunch. Many places in the area specialize in offering some amazing brunch menus. You can easily power up in the morning here with some tasty dishes and then head out to explore Budapest to its fullest. Or stay in the area and eat all day. Well, I'm definitely full. And right now we are chilling in the Santi Stwan Park, which also has some playgrounds here. So if you're coming with your children, then definitely this is a spot where you can do some picnics. But overall, what did you guys think? Were there any places that we maybe failed to mention? Tell us in the comments below. And also don't forget to like this video to support the channel and subscribe to it if you like this content. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!